Hello everybody, my name is Holger Putz, I'm the developer of the Match software. Today I would like to demonstrate the basic workflow of the software to you. That is, I assume that you are new to face identification from powder diffraction data or at least that you are new to the Match software and would like to learn how to operate it. On my computer, I have just installed both the Match software as well as FullProf in order to be able to run Rietfeld refinement calculations later on. So let's start right away. Let's first start the Match software. So I double click here. When you start Match for the first time, you will see this window asking what you would like match to be like concerning the automatic processing of the data. There are two options basically. You can let match do most of the calculations automatically or as an alternative you can run all actions and calculations on your own. But this assumes that you are already familiar with the software you can change the behavior of match also later on so you shouldn't worry about that at the moment too much and uh, yes let's just click ok here the first action it takes is to ask you to import the raw diffraction data you would like to process and analyze this is the contents of the tutorial subfolder of the match program directory and uh, this contains some examples using which you can learn how to run the software. We will import this file quickstart.rd at the moment and press open and now you see the diffraction data are imported automatically, the peaks are determined automatically and the face identification procedure has already been run that is the search match calculation and on the left hand side here at the bottom you are already presented a list of potential phases that might be present in your sample on the upper left hand side this is the most important window you see the diffraction data both experimental pattern in blue as well as the calculated pattern from the experimental peaks in dark red and in red the peaks of the phase that is currently marked here in the candidate list below. In this case this is corundum and if I check the agreement between the red peaks and the blue curve in the background this looks very promising so I can accept this phase as matching. I can do so just simply by pressing this button here in the toolbar and now the face, the entry has been moved to this table here on the right hand side which is called the match list and the match list now contains the face corundum. The program now automatically suggests the next best matching face which is calcite and also in this case the agreement is pretty good so I again press this button here in the toolbar and accept this phase as matching. Again this phase is transferred to the match list here on the right hand side and the next best matching phase is presented here. Um, now I don't want to use this first entry because I would like to have this name this candidate phase name quartz in here so I click on the second line instead and press the select this phase button again okay again we have the quartz phase here on the right hand side uh, and now you can see the next phase that has been selected automatically does not really correspond to your diffraction data so I will press the escape key on the keyboard to get rid of this. Okay, I guess that's all for now. We have three phases in our sample 
and as you can see here on the right hand side match has already done a semi-quantitative analysis of the phases so you have some kind of estimations about the quantities that are in the sample in order to get more exact values i will now run a Rietfeld refinement based on these phases and the raw diffraction data in order to do so i will press this fp button here at the top and now i will get the Rietfeld parameter turn on dialog with the default option automatic Rietfeld refinement here active so i will just use this one and run full prof automatically. Here on the right, upper right hand side you can now see that the screen has changed. We are no longer seeing this periodic table that is normally used to add some restraints. But now we see the Rietfeld tab here in which the progress of the Rietfeld calculation as well as the R factor and the comment from the full prof program are presented. Now the calculation has finished. See, we have a rather reasonable R factor and chi square, and the comment from Fulpoff is also very promising. Here on the left hand side, you can see this green curve that has been added. That is now the profile that has been calculated by Fulpoff, and below you see the difference plot between our experimental data and the full prof calculation. As you can see from the scale here on the y-axis, this is rather very, very tiny differences only left. So we are very sure that this is a correct phase identification. Here in this column, you can see that the values have changed a little bit. So these are now the values resulting from the quantitative analysis using the full prof software. Okay, I guess we are done now. We have found three phases in our sample as well as calculated the corresponding quantities from the diffraction pattern. All that remains to do now is to take a look at the report of what we have done and what we have found. So I have pressed this button in the toolbar to create the report. And now we have this report in a separate window where you can see all the details of the experimental diffraction data, the phases that you have selected as matching along with the corresponding amounts. Then we have some more details about these phases, like the crystal structure data and the reference and things like that. Afterwards, we have a list of candidates that are still left. And we have the peak list that also contains a hint which phases correspond to which peak. We have the results from the Rietfeld refinement and the integrated profile areas, the residuals, and finally the diffraction pattern graphics. Now we are finished, we have our report and we can print or save it just uh, as you like. And yes, we are done now at this point. Have a nice day. Bye.